here I'm going to write an equation that goes through two points and I'm going to be using the point slope formula but it's just giving me two points it's not giving me the slope so my very first step is to find that slope so to do that I'm going to label my points this is my x and y and my x and y and I'm going to call this point 1, so I'm going to call that x1 and y1, and this point 2, so I'll call that x2 and y2. So when I substitute those in to my slope formula, I get negative 1 minus 7, because I'm subtracting my two y's. And then in the denominator, I get 1 minus negative 3. Now negative one minus seven is negative eight. And subtracting a negative number is the same as adding. So this is one plus three, which is four. So you always simplify your fractions. You don't wanna change it to a decimal when you're dealing with um, these sort of problems. We wanna leave it as a fraction so we know what the slope is. Um, so, but you can always simplify it. And in this case, I can see that negative eight divided by four actually divides out evenly. So I'm gonna change that to negative two. So now I have my slope. So now that I have my slope is negative two, I'm just gonna pick that very first point. Remember this was my x1 and y1, and this is my slope. Now I have what I need to substitute into the point slope formula. So the black letters and um, parentheses and minus signs and equal signs all stay the same. I'm just gonna substitute in y1, m, and x1. So I have y minus y1, which is seven, equals the slope, which is negative two, parentheses, x minus, and then x1 is negative three. So now that I've substituted it into the formula, I can now try to solve it for y. So step three is to solve for y. So this is what we have. The first step, if I have any minus negative signs, I'm gonna just change that to plus. So this is, oops, this is the same as y minus seven equals negative two x plus three. So I changed this to plus. Now I can distribute because I'm trying to solve for my y. So I have my y minus seven still, but when I distribute negative two times x is negative two x and negative two times positive three is negative six. Now the very last step, if I wanna solve for y, I want that minus seven to be gone. So I'm gonna do the opposite of minus seven, which is to add seven. That cancels out, so I end up with y equals negative two x, and then negative six plus seven is positive one. So this now is my equation of the line that goes through those two points.